Welcome back to the PSN Commanders Network, also known as the Protect Sports Network. It's your boy Tone, aka Protect, aka Tech. Whatever you want to call me, I'm back with another video before I get to the God. If I got to right now, God's open doors and people for all the for people in the Lord's name. We pray, amen. Today's video, we're, right about the, we're here to wrap about the Washington Commanders, man. And today, we'll give y'all a mock offseason 3.0, three or four mock offseasons. Um, I don't do the mock offseason man, too often. I want to give you guys two more mock all seasons. One, I did the first one. Um, that was uh, back in December uh, or early January. I gave y'all one for January. I'm gonna give y'all two for February. Um, after that, be March if it moves, start getting made anyway. So there's no point in me doing another mock all season. So I'll uh, be two more. Uh, this one's called the Adam Peters model. I'm just, I just definitely just studying Adam Peters and <clears throat> peeping things he has done uh, back in San Francisco as well as other stuff like New England. And other places like that, um, players he's looking for and things of that nature. Um, and look what look what we did that special roster. Fred Warner, Debo Samuel. Um, I think it bring those same type of players here. So we're gonna talk about what what, he, what I think he would do at two. Uh, the comments of him and Eugene Shen uh, will co collaborate on this pick at two. And we'll talk about things like, you know, maybe go back to the first round, or trading draft picks, maybe moving down to acquire more draft capital, things of that nature. Let's just, let's just let's do it, man. Let's see what it's hitting on, and let's see what's going on, man. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on here. This should get interesting, y'all. It should get interesting. So let's, let's start. I'm going to start with the – I'm going to start with the – I'm going to start actually with free agency, not the draft. Start with start with free agency real quick. So I think we're going after two big ticket items. I do think that Adam Pierce will spend some money in this offseason. Now, I do think we're looking for a lot of bargains, a lot of players who are kind of low-key, but I think could be really good in the right system, things of that nature. Um, I we don't have a head coach yet, but I do believe it will be Ben Johnson, current Lions offensive coordinator. Um, I think that's kind of the the consensus. Um, if it, if it's not, I think our second uh, second most likely choice will be a former a former employee of his uh, slash colleague um, would be Bobby Slowick, uh, current offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans. Um, after that, I think we Mike McDonald, which is the current defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens, as my third selection. So one of three, we got to be the head coach. I'm um, leaning toward Ben Johnson. Um, John Harbaugh ain't coming. Uh, Jim Harbaugh is not coming here. Uh, no Bill Belichick, please, for the love of God, I for the love of Jesus, I do not want this man here. I'm not saying he's not a he's, he's a he's a great coach. He's over the hill. He's 72 years old. I just don't think he um, has it in him. I just don't. I think he's a really good coach. I don't think he's the same goat as he once was. Sorry. Um, maybe a change of scenery might change my mind. But as of right now, I think I am. Super cool off Bill Belichick. I'm super cool off of Jim Harbaugh. Uh, he won a national championship. That's cute, bro. Win a Super Bowl. Win a Super Bowl, bro. That's tough. All right, let's get to the free agency period. So, I think a lot of bargains. I think a lot of things are going to happen, like a lot of one-year deals, things of that nature. Kind of have Ron Rivera did when he first got here. I'm cleansing the roster of Quentin Dunbar. I think we traded him for a fifth-round pick. I think then we check fifth round pick. Uh to line something. I forgot what it was. It was very minimal compensation from what I remember. Um the, the compensation was not huge. Um we got rid of Trent Williams the most dumb stuff in the world. It was just like, oh my gosh. Whatever. But we cleansed the roster and we brought his guys in and everything kind of went left that. But now, now we can bring in new guys and clean some of the Rivera guys. I already have a video talking about draft picks. I think they won't make the roster that will previous Ron Rivera picks. Um, there's five of them, so enjoy that. Um, one's kind of a shocker. Uh, two's really, the number one, number two is really a shocker, but the other ones are kind of no surprises. But we'll talk about two big ticket items. Let's get to the point. Man. Two big ticket items. Everything else is going to be kind of, you know, low-key stuff. But I think these won't be like the highest ticket items in the world. So this won't be a Josh Allen, the, the defensive Josh Allen. This won't be Daniil Hunter. 
This won't be Brian Burns. It won't be those. But it'll be two high tech athletes. One is T. Higgins, current wide receiver of the Cincinnati Bengals. I think we signed him for five years, $105 million. $75 million of that money is guaranteed. The next guy, I think, is Dalton Schultz, current, current Houston Texans tight end. Uh, I'm going to say three years, three, $33.5 million, $21 million guaranteed for Dalton Schultz. So it'll be our two high ticket items, right? Um, you would say you don't need another tight end in the draft and you don't need another receiver. I ain't done with them positions yet. But we're going to get to the NFL draft. So I, I think some other low key signs. We got a couple of low key low key signs. I think I would personally make. Um, I would actually re-sign Kendall Fuller. Uh, two years, twenty million. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And one more high, one more higher ticket item. That I think we should go after Jalen Johnson, current Bears uh cornerback. Uh, five years, seventy five. If possible, uh, but I don't think you're going to bring back Kendall Fuller and get Jalen Johnson. I know you don't know too much. So one of those two guys will be here next year. Or you bring back Kendall Fuller, make him play safety. We can play free safety. So that could also be a thing. Two years, $20 million, uh, out after one year. Um, get a guy like Jalen Johnson in here. And you still have plenty of cap space left. Because I think you're going to cut a bunch of guys uh, and release them and kind of free up some more cap space. So. Uh, that'd be something that you want to keep in mind as well. I think you also sign a guy like Cody, um, Kobe Parkinson. That's the guy from the Seattle Seahawks. He's their current first string tight end. Then we get him for two years, $3.5 million, so $1.75 per. And then finally, I think another low key sign would be Brandon Powell, current Minnesota Vikings wide receiver. I think you get him for two years. Let's say three point two million dollars, so one point six. So it'd be kind of some no notable signings the commanders will make. Now let's get to the draft. Yeah, especially like a guy like a, a former Vikings receiver, I think would be a good look because we know that um, Ben Johnson's in the NFC North right now, so he kind of knows those receivers as well. So you want to keep in mind. So number two pick in the draft, we still have quarterback, so we'll see what's going to hit on. Good. So we're gonna see what it takes to get to one. So I think we have to get to one to get Caleb. So we're gonna swap here. Um and I'm gonna try to give up my first round pick next year. And that's it. Let's see what happens. Offer trade. It's been declined. MF is gonna be a moron. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to do a first and a third, actually. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So we gave our first and third next year. We didn't give no draft capital this year or to get to number one in the draft. Now. Is it to draft Caleb Williams? Or is it? Or is it to rob somebody? <laughs> is it? Is it to rob somebody? I think it's to rob somebody. I think that team is here. And I'm about to rob them. I want everything. I want everything. No, I'm not done with you. Yeah, I'm done with you. Yeah, I'm done with you, boy. You I'm done with you, boy. Hell no, I ain't done with you. Uh, I don't know yet. 70. That's cool. 143. Ah, uh, nah. I don't want this. I don't want this one. Hmm. I can throw my 7th round pick in my desk. Yeah. I kind of want something next year, too. That's not that big. Ah, so I'll take this one. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, 
they won't let me. They won't let me rob you. Let me rob you. I want to rob these niggas, bro. Right, let's see what happens. All right, but so we just did the most. <laughs> but nothing. <laughs> we just did the most. Just start the draft. Right, let's see who gone. Let's see who gone here. Let's see who gone. All the big bear gone, of course. May. Wow, it took May over Caleb. Wow, that's crazy. Now, what do you do with Justin Fields now? Hold on now. So this 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 gets spicy. Now, let's see if the Bears are willing to trade Justin Fields. All right. Now we can kind of talk. They got Caleb now. They drafted Caleb Williams, right? Um, and we got and our first round pick belongs to the Giants. Oh, that's oh, and in fact, we I, I, that's that's the pick we got back. Okay, so um, so let's see if I can get the if I can get the number if I get the one hundred pick in the draft and. Ah, this won't be accepted. That sucks. In a why, 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 why can't you? Why, 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 why? why? You didn't even get a first round for Fields? It's, 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 it's who it oh hell no! <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. Hell no, I ain't trying to do that. Me, I burn next year. I, I get my third already. Let's see. Ah, they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. That sucks. Whatever. Um. I got what? Got I got not, I got what? Three? I got four second rounders. I can get two. I can get two threes. Two threes, right? I don't want to force the trade. I'm trying to see if something reasonable. They 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 want to be morons. You you just drafted a quarterback. You motherfuckers drafted a quarterback already. Y'all irritating, bro. They irritating, bro. I can't stand these niggas. They 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 know they they know. It, it, bro, I hate you niggas, bro. I hate. I'm forcing it, there. Screw y'all. <laughs> I'm forcing it. Y'all 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 pissing me off. All right, now we can continue to drive. Man. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm on the clock, so. Let me just go ahead and um try to draft a player here. Resume the draft. So now I can resume. So now draft the player. Not gonna hold you. I I I I picked up Don Schultz and I picked up T Higgins. So it's hard of me to say pick Malik neighbors here. So I kind of want to get out this pick honestly. Ooh, Olu Fushano sitting right here. I'm gonna take Olu then. Never mind. Let's take Olu Fushano here. So we're drafting Olu Fushano here. So what's taking so long for me to draft this player now? What's going on here? So I I, I kind of robbed him a little bit, but I ain't really get to rob how I wanted to rob. I got Kamari Lasser. I hate you niggas. <laughs> I hate these niggas. I hate these niggas forever. I hate these niggas. I hate these niggas forever. I hate these niggas. Why is Earl I get the one? My, I want Kamari last. I hate these niggas forever. I, I, I officially despise the Buffalo Bills, bro. I hate these niggas forever. So now we we got a left tackle. We probably going to move Andrew Wyatt to guard. We need another tackle, right? So with that first pick in the second round, I think I kind of want to go Troy Patanu out of Washington here. We got a pick, three picks later, so that's not too bad. Keon Coleman's off the board. That kind of sucks. We did pick up T. Higgins. We got Jahan. I think our wide receiver core is fine. I'm not really pressed for wide receivers right now anyway. um, I kind of want a guy here. I said we might pick up Kendall Fuller again to play safety. I'm not exactly sure we'll be doing that. So I kind of. I would kind of need an edge rusher. So Jonah Ellis sounds pretty good. We got a pick right after that. So that next pick after that, 
I really, 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 really like this guy a lot. Um, Kellen Bullock out of USC. If it was our 47th pick, I believe Kale, I think Lee Kalen Kings are drafted, right? No, perfect. Um, yeah, we, I, 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 I don't like our secondary, so I, I kind of want to revamp the whole dab one thing. I don't like it at all. Chop, this gonna make you chop. Hey, this gonna make you chop. Yeah, y'all know I rock with chop. That's my boy. It's your chop on the beat. Then chop on the Kalen King is also very interesting. We can, is is my boy gone? No, my boy not gone yet. Uh, what's bro name? Um, Mike Sammer still. I like him too. I like him a lot as well. Um, this gonna make you chop. Hey, this gonna make you chop. I kind of want chop. So if I'm gonna go young chop on the beat, <laughs> Keelan King's off the board. No surprises. And I kind of like Jatavion Sanders too, so I'm like, I'm kind of like, ah, wish he kind of did that, but it's kind of hard to do that. So Jeremiah Charlie Jr. sounds pretty good right here, and we don't have a, we don't have a pick to the fourth round, but we had four second round picks. I'm not actually tripping about that, and most of them were defensive players. Um, now I think I can go with, uh, I like Bucky Irvin here. Just in case we don't resign, um, Antonio Gibson. You see how I had a plan coming in. I you see I I, I want to fix the defense. Also kind of do some things. Uh I actually love Jordan Travis right here, actually. Can't even hold you. Um, I know it's like, oh, we need you at the quarterback early. You're an idiot. Da, 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 da. I get it. But we did trade for Justin Fields. So at least give me that. We did trade for Justin Fields. Um, I think Jordan Travis be a nice uh developmental guy right behind him. As we move Sam Howe, actually, so we're gonna pause. The, we're gonna pause the draft here, and then this is a spot where I think they got Mike Weiss a backup. Let me see. I want to trade with the Texans. Now I want to ship Sam Howe out of here. Actually, yeah, I want to, I want to ship Sam Howe for this pick, and then. Next year, seven for a seat. That's cool. The trade has been accepted. Resume draft. So now, got a fifth and seventh round for Sam Howe. We shit them out of here. Um, Jacoby Brissett won't be back here next year as well. So um, I have another video about that specific thing as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and talk about this pick here. And I know we do like Ricky Stromberg. I like Broke Limer out of Texas as well. Uh, Arkansas, sorry. Another Arkansas center, I know, right? But you know. Uh, next, we got Marcus Harris. I think we need another. I think we need another um linebacker. At least one more linebacker. Um, at this point, I don't know. I don't know the players like that, but I did know about that dude from uh, Arkansas. Um, Marcus Harris. I don't know too much about him. He's the best player available on the board at the time of the pick. Okay. First look was a six three two ninety five. That's kind of light. Um, I'm looking kind of like the fit like replace for Darian Mathis. To be honest, I'm not a fan of bro. I think bro is just trash. Based of a second round pick. But I'm gonna just take him here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So I think I think the Adam Peters model is to build the defense. Um, just get a couple high take high ticket items, and then try and see what we can do at quarterback. I think us getting Justin Fields would be nice though. Um, I I, I kind of was just messing around with the whole drafting up, draft back down, just to have fun with it. Uh, Jared Wiley is a nice pickup here, I think, too. And being a seventh round thing is a steal. Um, you revamped your whole tight end room, getting Dalton Schultz, getting Cody Parkinson, and now getting Jared Wiley. You have a, a brand new tight end room, I think, in your eyes. And you can get it with John Bates. Um, I know that was a D line. I was doing anything. You don't pay me no mind there. Um, if it's me getting this haul, 
robbing these niggas. That was perfect, Rob. Robbing niggas was perfect. I could I could have stayed at two and did that and just save my first round pick, but um, yeah, I could just just stay at two. <laughs> yeah, so I was just trolling there. Honestly, I might just run back another simulation just cause. But get Olu Fashanu, getting Troy Fatanu, uh, getting Joy Ellis, getting Kalen Bullock, getting Chop Young Chop on the beat, man. Um. Jeremiah Charlie Jr., Bucky Irving, um, Jordan Travis. I think that's a nice pickup to really, really, really have a guy you can develop behind Justin Fields if he doesn't work out. Um, shipping Sam Howell away, I think, was a good look. And getting Justin Fields in here, um, I think, is a really nice look. Um, so that is my uh, this is my uh, mock offseason 3.0, which is the Adam Peters model. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe to the PSN Commanders Network. If you haven't done so, also go subscribe to the Life of Tone channel for clothing hauls, reaction videos, and story times. Uh, also, become a channel member on the PSN Commanders Network for exclusive content and exclusive access to all videos with at least 24 hour early access, um, as far as 60 day access. If you want access to all the videos, you want to watch all of them, you want to binge them, $2.99 a month. We do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm joining my Patreon also for uncensored reactions, such as ops getting chased on all that. I would start doing those on Patreon too, so go ahead and do that as well. And y'all be easy, be safe, stay healthy. We're working hard over here, we're trying to make some things happen. So I appreciate all the support on the channel. Love y'all and have a great one. Comment your thoughts on this mock off season. Um, I'll probably do one with just one simulation and that doesn't involve me going to the number one pick and go back down like a fool. So I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Y'all be easy. Be safe. Stay healthy. Until next time, man. Peace.